Got smaller boats! Ram them! Got it! Hey, asshole! Tell your bosses to find their own damn treasure! Keep at bay! You must be tired of these lectures. I know I'm tired of giving them. And now you have to stay here with me all weekend instead of going on the retreat with everyone else? I don't care. Yes, that is the crux of the problem. I don't see why I'm the only one being punished. Because you started the fight. You wouldn't give me back my book. I told you to leave those books in your room. You only have yourself to blame. Doesn't give him the right to just snatch it from me. Does that give you the right to start throwing punches? It wasn't just about the book. What was it then? Nothing. I'll save it for confession. No matter what I try, you seem insistent on going down the same sad road as your brother. What a waste. Sam? Ooh, you gotta learn to watch your back. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's good to see you, little brother. What was that? Really? Again? It's nothing. You told me you'd stay out of trouble, though. He was talking shit about us. So? 
He said that dad dumped us here because we're worthless and mom is in hell because- Nathan, Nathan, come on. They're just saying it because it gets to you, all right? You just gotta learn to laugh it off. You wouldn't. No, do as I say, not as I do. Here, you'll catch a cold. So, what are you doing here like this anyway? If the nuns catch you, they're gonna call the cops. Well, I got something for you, and I couldn't wait till Christmas. What? It's outside. What happened to us staying out of trouble? Uh, this is an exception. Mm-hmm. Okay. You got this. You got this, Nate. All right, go ahead. Just don't overthink it. Oh, crap! Ah! Gotcha! Come on. <sighs> ah. <sighs> I did it. Yeah. Of course you did. Follow me. Just like that, we're out. All right. Check it out. Huh? Whoa, <laughs> you got the 250? 250? What are you talking about? No, this is the 500 cc twin. No way. Yeah. Where'd you lift it from? Whoa. That's a low blow. But hey, I'll have you know that I am a changed man. Bought this with hard earned cash. Here, come on, take a seat. What? The only time you pull a stunt like this is when you're trying to make up for something. You are too smart for your own good, you know that? All right. I got this job. Pays well. Really well. But, uh, I gotta leave town for a little bit. What's a little bit? Uh, like, uh, a year. At the most, and then I'll be back before you even know it, all right? You're bailing on me. Uh, come on, don't be so dramatic. What, so it wasn't bad enough to leave me in that place? How could you do this to me, Sam? Wait, wait, I'm doing this for you. The money I make is for the both of us. And then in a couple of years, couple when you're out... years? Take me with you. I, I can barely support myself. I'll pitch in. I know you think the orphanage sucks. You have no idea. Yeah, but it's the best thing for you right now. All right? You just gotta trust me on that one. It's not fair. Yeah. Nothing about our lives has been fair. Well, we've made it work, right? Sure. Well, you know, the bike wasn't the only surprise. And I guess I'm gonna have to ruin the next one. What? I found Mom's stuff. Everything that Dad sold, I tracked down the buyer. If you're saying this just to make me feel better... Uh -huh. I swear to God. Where? Yeah. On the other side of town. What do you say we go and get it back? You mean steal it? It's not stealing if it was ours to begin with. I'm pretty sure the cops aren't gonna see it that way. Well then let's not get caught. You ready for this? Hell yeah. Estar más fácil de lo que esperaba, eh? We're gonna have to do a better than that, Kyle. Acabemos con esto. Let's go. Come on. No dejes que este tipo te gane. Chingada, este gringo sabe pelear, eh? Una paliza. Tú lo empezas. A ver cómo te sales de esta, cara. ¿Qué tal esto? Asshole, let go of me. Gánenmelo. Right back at you. Lucha como un hombre. Ay. Come on, sport. Esto es por meterte con nosotros. ¡Rivalo! 
Ahora sí, pendejo. Te vas a arrepentir. ¡Sí, por favor! ¡Come on, amigo! ¡Te voy a matar! ¡Come mierda! ¡Ya lo tienes! ¡Te voy a cerrar la bocota, gringo! ¡Qué perro te me! ¡Ya basta! ¡Marcha! ¡Acaba con él! ¡Ya basta, idiota! ¡Suéltame! ¡We weren't fighting! Huh? Right, little guy? Voy a matar, gringo, come mierda. Hey, give me a call when you're tall enough to ride the rides. Te voy a sacar tiras por el culo. Solitaria. Cállalo. Te voy a estar esperando aquí, eh. Abre. Come on. How long am I supposed to be in here? Huh? Where's the toilet? You looking at it. Have fun. I will. Gracias. Having a great dream, too. Hey, hey, hey. All right, easy. Ah. All right, calmate. Hey, uh, any chance I can take a shower? Callate. Good morning, boys. Or is it the evening? I, it's hard to tell down here. Oh, idiota! Get up the stairs. Viene saliendo un prisionero. Abran la reja. Hey, nice to see you. Vi lo que hiciste a Gustavo. Tengo un Estás cuchillo que muerto. tiene tu nombre, amigo. Te lo hey, Vargas. Cuando regrese. Déjanoslo a nosotros. Nos encargamos Atrás. de él. Muévanse. Quítense, cabrones. Hey, hey. Tranquilízate. Looks like you have some fans. Yeah, my adoring public. Go. <coughs> Abre la reja. ¿A dónde lo llevas? <risa> es una sorpresa. <risa> Diviértete. You speak a little Spanish, you know. <risa> Wait, what, what did you say? You'll find out soon enough. Te lo advertí. Pero no escuchaste. ¿Qué está mirando? Nada, amigo. Nada atrás. De este me encargo yo. Bien. Where are you taking me anyway? We'll see. No, no. Not that way. Oh, all right. After you. Yeah, this isn't sketchy at all. Hey, you know, this doesn't look like the warden's office. Go left. Yeah, I'm on it. Through there. Through here? Take these cuffs off, or what? I want in. In? Whatever you hope to find up there, I want in. <laughs> now, come on, Marcus. The deal was just to get us in and out of here. That's it. Just? 
I'm sticking my neck out for you, gringos. Yeah, and Rafe is paying you a lot of money for your trouble. See? Si. But not nearly enough. You were told not to open that. Yes. I was also told not to take bribes, not to bring anyone here, and not to beat on my inmates. But here we are. Just be careful with that. It's 300 years old. I was a member of Captain Henry Avery's crew. You know who that is? He was a pirate. The pirate who pulled off the biggest heist in history and got away with it. I looked him up. It's great. Over Can 400 we... million dollars worth of gold and jewels, all from one single ship. The, the Gunsway. Yeah. yeah. I'm familiar with the story. Can you get to the point? Uh-huh. I occupied the highest cell in the Spaniards' prison. <laughs> Here. I hope someday you will find your way into this infernal place, bear my cross, and discover the riches of paradise. What? What do you want? The riches of paradise. Oh, it's a metaphor. No, 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 no. You and your friends did not pay to get into this infernal place in search of a metaphor. I want in. All right. I tell you what. Let me go up there, check out the prison cell. If there's still anything there after 300 years, we can take this up with Rafe. Now, come on. Letter. Por favor. How are you gonna get up there anyways? Climb. Oh, unless, of course, you want to do it, since you want in and all. Just don't break your neck. That's the plan. Hey, did you bring what I asked? Yeah. Eat it just over there, under the work table, uh, by the crates. <clears throat> All right, let's do that again. <clears throat> Ten and two, X and I. I. Oh, would you look at that? Digna, factis requipimos. This is it. All right. Time to head back. You made it. What'd you find? Greg? What? place was picked clean. If there's a clue hidden up there somewhere, I couldn't find it. Are you sure? Were you looking in the right place? Oh, maybe I just I missed something in the letter. There could have been another tower that collapsed centuries ago. Yeah. There uh, any plants at this place? You know, like blueprints? Uh, could be. There's a bunch of old files. Okay, great, great. Go look through those, okay? See what you can dig up. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll talk to Sam. He's our Avery expert. Maybe he can make sense of this whole mess. Right. I'll, I'll look through the files. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah. Right. When you're done talking to him, come and find me. You got it. Yeah. Ah. Gringo, if I catch you fighting one more time, one week in the hole for you. Nice acting, Bart. Almost as good as mine. Huh? Yeah. Okay. 
Yo le sí, ¿eh? Suerte de principiante, ¿verdad? Hijo de puta. Uh, uh, lo siento, chicos. Uh, tengo que irme. Claro, te vas cuando estás ganando. Para ti, ¿eh? Jesus, they worked you over. Okay, you all right? Just another day at the office. Come on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna keep me in suspense, are you? You were right. <laughs> no, we were right. No. We just gotta find Rafe. No, and... Rafe. Don't, don't start, please. Oh, come on. Like you said, we did this. You and me. Now this rich asshole comes in on the tail end. How long have we been trying to get in here? <sighs> we had some leads. No, we didn't. Okay, not one. So like it or not, no Rafe, no Vargas, and no getting in here. Speaking of Vargas, we got a problem. What kind of problem? Did he let you into the old prison? Yeah, yeah, he did. Right. After he read the letter. Hmm. Hmm. So how much does he know? Enough that he wants a cut. Oh, shit. Rafe, if anybody else finds out about this... I'll work it out with Vargas. Don't sweat it. Right now, let's just, let's get on to more important matters. All right, let's find somewhere a little more, uh, private. Yeah. All right, coast is clear. Okay, so, what do we got? <sighs> oh, shit. Huh? Hey. May I? Just be careful, okay? Wood with gold and silver inlay. It's well made. <laughs> it's hollow. <laughs> Why would one of Avery's men go through the trouble of hiding a cheap crucifix? It's not a crucifix. Technically, a crucifix is a representation of Jesus. It's not Jesus. Well, you're right. There's no crown of thorns. He's tied to the cross. Well, if it's not Jesus, then... Read the inscription. Uh, Digna factus recipimus. We receive. We receive. We receive the due rewards of our deeds. Yeah. Look at you. That's a benefit of growing up in a Catholic orphanage. That's Saint Dismas. Yeah, a penitent thief. But what's the connection? Guys, let's just pretend I skipped all of Sunday school. <clears throat> okay, uh, during the crucifixion. Jesus is placed between two thieves, okay? One of them mocked Jesus. The other one, this guy, was penitent. Okay? He accepted his punishment with grace. And Jesus brought him to paradise. Penitent thief. Yeah. <laughs> what? You figured it out? There is a cathedral of St. Dismas in Scotland. Wait, the last sighting of Avery was in Scotland. That can't be a coincidence. No. <laughs> you know, I had my doubts about you, too, but... Let's find Vargas. Get the hell out of the shithole. Oh. <laughs> Let me guess, this is the guy you picked a fight with? Uh, didn't know he had so many friends. Te dije que no habíamos terminado. Mira, ya nos ganaste, okay? Muy tarde para hablar. ¡Aquí no sales! Hey, you know what? Tú no te metas. Ok. Ya basta de hablar. Alguien más necesita que le recuerde las reglas. ¡Alíñense! ¿Qué es esto? ¿Eh? Dame. Are you bringing in contraband, Fergus? Cállate. Who do you think you are? Llévalo a su celda. Trae los gringos a mi oficina. Déjanos. Déjennos. Too long enough. We almost got killed, you know? You still might. Vargas 
Seriously? Oh, I didn't find anything. It must be in a different tower. Well? How can I say? I was raised Catholic. I always carry one. <laughs> Funny. Hey, 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 look. It's worthless, all right? You think I'm an idiot? Okay, you want to renegotiate, fine. Stop acting like a third world thug. Put the gun away. <laughs> Thank you. We're willing to give you, uh, 10%. <laughs> Think half. We're doing most of the work, 20. And you'd never find it without us. 25 equals. 25. Does that sound fair, guys? I suppose I can live with that. Yeah, sure. I mean, 400 million divides nicely by four. Looks like we have a deal. Yes, we have a deal. And if you ever cross me at. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's that. Are you out of your goddamn mind? You want to find out? I'm done. Guys, what are we doing here? We're sticking to the plan. Was this part of the plan? Just follow me. Come on. Come on! God damn it. Ray, where are we going here? The lighthouse. Vargas said the boat is right under the lighthouse. But which way? I don't know. Get outside. Ah, got it. Sam! Come on! I'll pull you up! I got you! Come on! Sam! No! No, you hold on! Hold on! Sam! Give me your other arm! No! Sam! We gotta move. Oh, no, he's still down there. No, he's gone. Come on, the boat's just beyond the wall. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't leave him behind. Nate, your brother is dead. Either come with me or join him. Just have it your way. Oh god, no. No. Shit. Alright. Made it to the bottom. Okay. According to your signal, you're at the coordinates. Any sign of our hold? No. Not yet, anyway. You got any pinks from up there? Afraid not. All right. I'll just keep heading downstream. Copy that. Keep me posted. You got it. Hey, I'm gonna watch you down to a quarter tank. You wanna come up? Nah, I'll be fine. Can't be far. If you don't find it soon, I'm calling it. I'll find it. All right. Okay, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. Going up. Uh -uh. Look at that beauty. How you feeling? I'm oh, better now that I'm out of that river. I'm gonna stink like fish for a week. <laughs> All right. We're gonna come to you. Hang on. Hang on. What's up, boys?
Good to have you back, Drake. Yeah, it's good to be back. Toss down your gear. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Whoa, this tank's... Oh, this isn't right. Let me read this. Hey, how much longer are you gonna be? Let's wrap this up later. <sighs> My hero. <laughs> Come on, let's go see what you brought us. Hey, so how about you let someone else be point man next time? You've earned a break. No, no thanks. I'll take a dive over being at the office any day. Yeah, well, uh, either way, it's gonna be a while to the next dive. What are you talking about? What about Thursday's job? Mm -mm. Oh, come on, no. Got underbid. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, competition's tough. Let's see here now. Care to do the honors? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wow. Look at that. We struck copper. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full cover. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies? <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, no, no. Not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just gonna do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? All right. Suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. Hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? Yeah. What's this? I got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the piggin'. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And all the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one, he, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me, this contact of yours, you get the permits? No, he did not get the no. permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money. <laughs> for the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. No. Listen, I have to pass. And trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me, I'm okay? not gonna change my mind. Oh, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? All right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. really did your homework on this one. And... <laughs> Done. Okay. <laughs> oh! Finish it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. You know, it's... Probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? <laughs> God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? We got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm-hmm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? No, oh, it was a brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord. Kind of so, it, the boring stuff. But tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about 
tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane. So, I kind of took this U-turn and this elegy. Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? About, you know, the uh, lost city of Bangkok. Not, not of Bangkok, lost city near Bangkok, in or about the city limits of Bangkok. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena. in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Stop, I'll do them. No, hold You on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least... At least, uh, let me... Let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um... Play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So, what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. Okay, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This has taken a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, here we go. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh, how do you, uh, how do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Use your spin attack. Watch that pit. Oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. I don't know. How do I uh, climb back out? You're dead. Well, that's not close. I, I would have climbed back out. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. But jump, jump. Stop yelling at me. I'm encouraging you, I'm coaching you. Keep going, keep going. That spin hurt. Jump over the pit. Well, he didn't jump far enough. What's the button for jump farther? Last life. I'm gonna make it count. Oh, I so nervous. Oh, yeah, way to go there. Not bad, not bad. What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. 
Looks like a fox. Looks like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash. Ow! Oh, that had to hurt. It did probably hurt. What? Is that it? You asked for it. Oh! You gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? Really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning what you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. What can you I'm do in you. real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? <laughs> um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. Oh my God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a god, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He said, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> Hey, hey, you still with me? I need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know? <laughs> but how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, 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 right. slow down. Have a seat. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. They tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. Oh, geez, what crazy stories? Got shot, hanging from a derailed train <laughs> in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man. What did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Uh, do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay, he did. I found the coffin. Off the coast of Panama? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now, get this, okay. I open it up, right? right? And there's no body, but the bottom is his old journal. Are you shitting me? I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and, uh... We made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. 
You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I've managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, engagement ring, the... Engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... Uh, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner, at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Not reading tonight. Samuel, come here. Listen. The guards, they're singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean... They have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <sighs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can, but I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time, which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo al plan, señor. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. <laughs> and it'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? 
Sam, he knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And, no, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine, fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Let's try to keep your tux clean. Thanks. million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's gotta be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um, like I don't know. <laughs> But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. Yeah, that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signora. <clears throat> Antipasti? I'm all set. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Uh huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. All right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to go on vegan. Billy? <laughs> Hell no. Don't 
Scusami. Non ho ancora avuto il piacere. What are you doing? I'm just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We've pulled off tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. Just being extra careful. Well, don't. <sighs> Shit. You, uh, need some pointers? No, just warming up, that's all. Okay. What do you say we just run it like the old days, okay? I do the interference, you make the grab, right? Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. So out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Dean Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. 
I gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. I lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Oh, yeah, they're a full service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs. if you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh, no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. How the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? 10 years? 12? 15. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. God, why did I pick the power room?
Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and there's a right now he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Scott. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. And for a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. But now the bid has what? reached 130,000. We are now at 140. <sighs> nope. Your bid, Signore, takes us all the way to 130,000 euros. It's gotta be something. Come on. Hey, the man, uh, stands at 130,000 euros. Yeah, in give me a sec. Signore's bid makes 170,000. Yes. We are now at 180,000 euros. Now reached to 190,000 euros. My goodness, we are now at 200,000 euros in the room. <laughs> gotcha. Alright, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's speed. 220,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. I thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000 And ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone! Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak... Sparish. Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security's scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but uh, I'm afraid I'm spoken for. If you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? <coughs> Alright, fine. Remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you got. <laughs> nice try. I gave you that one. Baby. <laughs> Ow. 
That's not nice. Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Do you know how many artifacts I've collected over the years? You're gonna need to be more specific. Let me see if I can clarify! I look. I'm still a little jet lagged. Oh, son of a. Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart ass? You know, you're breaking a lot of expensive stuff in here. If you're not careful, they're gonna kick us out of here. Alright, wait, wait! It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there! <laughs> 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 Just met your friend. All right, here we go. Jeez, Christ, thank you. Hey, how's it going? I think I'm done with this auction, huh? Oh yeah, me too. Nice shot. I hope I don't go to hell for this. Oh, shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. All right, skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Hodie mecum eris. In paradise. Today you will join me in, in paradise. paradise. It's what Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, you, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but. It means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise. Which means we're looking for Avery's grave. It's St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh -huh. Here's the cathedral, but the graveyard is way over here. Rafe's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming? Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. Well, come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Oh, Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. Look, with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. Nathan, he's right. 
things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and I can, I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, it's me, yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, um... Uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy. All those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you. <laughs> but it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? <sighs> Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Just told her that the job was gonna take a little longer than expected, which is the truth, right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Well, Rafe's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are gonna have that graveyard all to ourselves. <sighs> Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kids. Happy hunting. Last chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right, see you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah. Just, uh... Ah, uh, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh? Scottish Cathedral. Strange place to bury your treasure, no? Uh, not really. I mean, by the time Avery would have sailed here, the place was already abandoned. 